Welcome back as CleoOps Cure Expedition 33 just received a major update in the form of patch 1.4. This update includes a lot of quality of life improvements, bug fixes, also includes battle retry option. Now after getting defeated in a battle, a new window will pop up giving us the option to immediately retry the battle. The update also adds support for DLSS frame generation and XCSS frame generation. The former is exclusive to RTX 40 and 50 series GPUs while the latter is exclusive to Intel Arc GPUs. In this video, I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. I'll be using Nucom 9 Smart to replace the in-game DLSS frame generation implementation with FSR frame generation. The mod will also enable NVIDIA Reflex which will help in cutting down the latency. Mod frame generation does not work during the cutscenes and the cutscenes are still capped at 30 FPS so I'll be using Another mod to disable this 30 FPS cap. Mod FSR frame generation does not work during the cutscenes. And the cutscenes are still capped at 30 FPS. So I'll be using clear obscure fix to disable this 30 FPS cap. The mod also disables in-game sharpening. I'll be using OptiScaler mod to increase the game sharpness level. We'll also use OptiScaler to inject Nukem 9's mod into the game. I'll be running the PC Game Pass version of the game before showing you the mod setup process would like to thank key mailer and xbox for providing me with a free monthly subscription of pc game pass this subscription gives us access to hundreds of games we can play these games for as long as we want until our subscription expires games from first party microsoft studio and even third party studios are available on pc game pass even ea play membership is included in india microsoft even supports upi mode of payment we'll be using the latest preview 13 Nightly build of OptiScaler available on OptiScaler's GitHub page. I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section. Expand it. Click on the dot seven z link here. Version zero point seven point seven preview thirteen two zero two five zero seven one nine. We'll be using build zero point one three zero universal version of Newcom Nine Smart. It's available on Nexus Smart's website. Just need to have a free Nexus Smart's account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on manual download under universal. Click on slow download, download will start. We'll be using clear obscure fix to remove the 30 FPS cap from the cutscenes, its other features, disable force sharpening, enable developer mode, skip intro logos. This mod is available on Nexus Mods website. Just click on files here. Now I'll be running the PC Game Pass version of the game so I'll download the Xbox version of the mod. If you own the Steam or Epic Games version of the game, Download the mod corresponding to that version. Manual download under Xbox. Click on slow download. The download will start. The game comes with an older version of TLSS for upscaler. I'll manually update it to the latest version that is 310.3.0. This version is not available on NVIDIA app yet. Download. Click on any of these servers. Download will start. Just need to set the render preset to K in order to activate the transformer model of DLSS4. I'll be verifying the upscaler's details using DLSS debug overlay. I'll activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Emos. Copy the lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file right click, open with notepad, paste the lines here. Click on file, click on save, close and run the suggestive file. This will activate the DLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable the overlay, just replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close and run the suggestive file. I'll just reward the change as I want to enable the overlay. Right click, open. Click on yes. OK. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod, open its archive file and just copy the highlighted files, two of them. Need to paste them in the game's install directory. Open Xbox PC app, click on my library, select layer, click on the three dots here, click on manage, click on files, click on browse. Open the game's install folder, open content folder, sandfall folder, binaries, win gdk. Paste the mod files here, this is the directory. Now you can use any of the supported file names for OptiScaler like DXGI, WinMM or D3D12. I'll use D3D12. Change the name of OptiScaler.dll file to D3D12 DLL.
Now just open optiscaler.ini file. Set TX12 upscaler to DLSS. Set FG type to Newcoms as we will be using Newcom 9 Smart. Click on File. Click on Save. Close. Now I'll install Newcom 9 Smart. Open its archive file. Open DLL underscore version folder. Copy this DLL file. DLSS G2FSR3 AMD is better. Just need to paste it in the same directory where we install OptiScaler mod. Content, Sandfall, Binaries, WinGDK right here. Now I'll manually update the game's DLSS subscaler. Open the upscaler's archive file. Copy this DLL file nvngx underscore DLSS. I'll show you where to paste it. Open the game's install directory. Content folder, Sandfall folder. Plugins folder, NVIDIA folder, DLSS folder, Pinaries folder, third party, Win64, right here, older version 310.2.1, replace it with the latest version 310.3.0.0. Now I'll install Clear Obscure Fix, open its archive file, open Sandfall folder, Pinaries folder, WinGDK folder. Copy all of the files present inside this directory. Copy. Open the game's install directory. Clear. Content folder. Sandfall. Binaries. WinGDK. Paste everything here. Now you need to make sure that hardware x related GPU scheduling setting is enabled on your PC. Right click anyway on the desktop. Click on display settings. Then click on graphics. Click on advanced graphics settings. From here enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting. If your monitor supports VRR, enable the setting as well. Now enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings. Click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select clear obscure. Scroll down to the end. Enable vSync from here. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on setup G-Sync. Enable the following settings, enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator, this step is optional. Click on display here and check this setting, G-Sync compatible indicator. We are ready to run the game. Now make sure that no third party OLE like Afterburner or RTSS is running in the background. Otherwise the game may crash during the loading screens. So I'll be using NVIDIA's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. Play. In-game graphics settings, upscaler TLSS using its quality preset. NVIDIA frame generation setting got unlocked. Newcom 9's mod is working. I'll disable frame generation for the time being. Reflex on. Vsync disabled. Display mode borderless window full HD resolution. Post-processing effects disabled. Motion blur film grain chromatic abrasion vignette. High settings, post processing settings set to low, will be targeting 60 fps. We are in. Press the insert keyboard key to open OptiScaler menu. There it is. DLSS upscaler selected. Version 310.3.0 can be verified via DLSS debug overlay. Render preset used is K. It's the transformer model. DLSS auto exposure setting is on. This setting helps in reducing ghosting around the objects in the environment also fixes texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects the floating petals in this game don't leave any ghosting trials with dlss upscaler you will observe some ghosting trials when using xcss upscaler dp4a model okay i'll just enable override setting under sharpness section set the slider to 0 0.600 60 percent increase the sharpness level you can nice mod disable for the time being. Click on save INI. In this way, mod settings will get saved even after restarting the game. There's Sophie. I'm in Lumiere. Big crowd here. Good for testing the game. FPS, it's close to 57. I'm using OBS to record the gameplay. Without OBS, FPS here usually stays around 63, 63 to 65. Hitting the GPU bottleneck as expected. Okay, now I'll enable Newcom 9's FSR frame generation. Open the in-game settings. Set NVIDIA frame generation to two times, not auto. Back to the game. Oh my god, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. This is amazing. FPS increased to around 100. 
mod is working properly show you the debug view no hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image except for dlss debug overlay games interface won't flicker but dlss debug overlay will flicker just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details the color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images smoothing effect of fsr frame generation will work properly you can see that e hud element is not visible in the bottom middle image displays are working properly for all of the images this occlusion mask depth resources motion vector disable the debug view okay now i'll show you a cut scene yeah you can see dlss debug hole is flickering flickering very aggressively subtitles are not flickering Sometimes so. dialogue subtitles they are enclosed Who? in a transparent the box the this box is super imposed on the game's display she looks sad cutscene is playing and here we are getting around 68 fps hitting the gp bottleneck fps is not capped at 30 i'll just open optiskeller mod menu as you can see mod fsr frame generation is disabled so clear obscure fix is also working i'll skip the cutscene show you some combat now i'm in spring meadows playing as lunar accompanied by gustav floating around here fps is close to 100 but very smooth animation okay combat time attack this npc oh no miss my attack this is not good enemy will be attacking first Okay, I'll try to perform a counter. Slow attack. Oh no, I missed. I haven't played the game in a long time. Land it at counter. FPS stays close to 100 during combat. Another counter. A reflex is doing a good job. Latency is not an issue. Back to back counters. So look up nice mod works very nicely in this game. That's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.